So <laughs> this album came out, uh, it was recorded in 89 and released I think in 1990. It came out uh, to critical acclaim actually and went to number 12 on the uh, album charts um, back in the day, um, I'm happy to say. Jimmy the Human, uh, no turning back. And um, you can see on the front cover, there's a picture of me, young and dashing with no gray hair and a full set of hair. Uh, and I'm sitting in an alleyway in Melbourne with my then current skateboard and I was photographed by the incredible Christine Carroll. I love that girl. And um, this uh, album cover brought about some discussion at the time whether I really ride a skateboard or was it just a gimmick? I think that the In Excess Kick album had come out at a similar time and you could clearly see well, any skater knew that the feet standing on a skateboard on that album cover did not look like a real skater. Uh, but I'm happy to say that skateboarding has been a big part of my life. I've been uh, skating since the very early days of the sport, probably the late 60s, uh, on a Grand Tech with Chalkies. Um, and then I, uh, I spent a lot of time skating the drains and pools in the late 70s and backyard ramps uh, and then into the first skate parks in the early 80s. I skated with some of the great skateboarders, um, and uh, who I felt were the greats of the sport at the time. I wasn't as great as them, but uh, it was really great to be associated with some great skaters. And um, to this day, even though I'm just an old fart now uh, at the skate park doing a couple of grinds, I still identify as a skater. Skateboarding has taken off in an enormous way and the people who are good at the sport now are just incredible. So uh, I have no illusions, but I still love uh, the sport and I still love to do it. Um, so I'm happy to show you something now, uh, which my good friend Jim Cargill at Cargill Custom Guitars has put together for old skaters just like me and maybe you. So when you're an old skateboarder of my vintage, you end up with a whole bunch of old boards, some of which have delaminated, some of which you just grew out of or you just wanted something new. You can see here, uh, this is actually a Mickey Alba board, which is actually on the Jimmy the Human and Spectre 7 No Turning Back album cover. That's the one I kept it all these years. It still works. I still have a roll every now and then just for fun. Um, here's a vintage uh, Caballero board, which is kind of delaminated now, unfortunately. Um, a Hazoi Team Rider uh, board, that was a uh, Monty Nolda. Um, these Power Peralta boards, I still love the shape, the 30 by 10 boards. That's, I'll probably go back to those boards actually. But here you can see a Jay Adams board, a Firm board, uh, some street stuff, another Dogtown board. Actually, these two boards I won in uh, one of the old boy skate contests that uh, the Moss Jam guys run. So I'm, at least I've won something. I've got a couple of trophies over here. Not many, but you know, it's, it's kind of like nice to feel like you did something in skateboarding. Uh, these are the boards I, I pretty much skate now. And um, you can see uh, that's kind of been the main deck I've been skating, although I need to update. That's a cruiser and a couple of street boards. I've always got one in the car, classic skater. But the thing is, hang on, one more thing, look at this. Classic Alva board, that was one of the painted reissues. I got that for my 50th birthday, that's 11 years ago, yikes. And uh, this one, Skip, uh, from the original Dogtown store, who now uh, runs Santa Monica Airlines. He uh, hand painted, I think two or three of these for a fundraiser we did in the very early days of the Moss Jam. And I bought one uh, hand painted by Skip, who was portrayed by Keith, uh, Keith, Keith Richards, yeah, by Heath Ledger in the uh, movie Dogtown Z-Boys. So uh, uh, that's kind of a cool thing to have. And uh, here are uh, some trophies, but you know, the thing was for me, I love skateboarding. I still identify strongly as a skater, but the guitar was always uh, the thing I was married to and uh, the thing I was kind of really good at. So that kind of uh, took me away from skateboarding off and on. But like I say, I still identify very strongly as a skateboarder and I'm still skating today. So here's what every skateboard fanatic turned musician really needs in their life, made by the good people at uh, Cargill Custom Guitars. This is a guitar made completely out of repurposed skateboards. The body and the neck, everything. They've been cut down, uh, laminated together and covered with some kind of epoxy. Uh, the neck is made, uh, the body is made. There are Lola pickups in there, wired up like a strat right here. And um, that's the front. Here's the back. Let's go a bit closer. You can see in the tremolo cavity, they're old boards. You can see the uh, uh, where the screws the bolts go through, they've been filled. There's even details of the deck right there. <laughs> Look at the neck. Multiple pieces of skateboard laminated together.
This one's quite heavy, but Jim tells me the next couple of ones he's gonna make, he's gonna do some weight relief. I know he's made an SG already, and uh, I think this is, might be the third or fourth skate guitar that he's developed. Let's just come in a little closer to see uh, the details of the deck there. So there are the graphics on the bottom of the skateboard, obviously. It's a clear pickguard on there so you can see the graphic. This neck is, you can clearly see the uh, maple laminate of the skate decks. Uh, I think Jim's worried that's a bit busy. I think he's, he's talking about the next one he makes, he's gonna put like an ebony board on it. But um, I don't know, I'm kind of enjoying that skateboard thing. Might be a bit confusing for some people's playing though. So let's hear some sounds on this uh, guitar now. Uh, let's start off with a few clean sounds. And uh, let's do some dirty uh, sounds now. And, uh, you know, it's a serious instrument. I know it's kind of gimmicky to have a skateboard guitar, but it's set up like a real player. It's not, uh, it's a, a breeze to play. Uh, if you're a strap person, to me, it sounds like a good strat. And it's really messing with my head about the whole idea of tone woods when uh, this is made out of, you know, skateboard decks. Um, so anyway, maybe there's a lesson in this for all of us about the nuances and ideas we've been running with all these years. Uh, certainly a lesson for me. Let's have a listen again. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm a little enamored by this whole skateboard deck guitar thing. Uh, years ago, I saw some guys in the States making uh, uh, guitars that are just like a straight up board with a neck stuck on them. And I actually emailed them and never got a response. So I was a little disappointed about that. But this is kind of next level uh, tech. It's a, it's a real guitar uh, that happens to be made out of skate decks. So um, I'm fancying like a Les Paul Junior style. So uh, I might have to do some shuffling around and explain it to the good lady. Anyway, in the meantime, thanks for hanging out. I might leave you with some uh, old shots of me skateboarding in the 70s and 80s uh, and even more recently. So uh, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you the next thing. Guitar, 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 guitar. No!